What's going on? Welcome back to another Unreal C++ Fundamentals video. Today we'll be discussing pointers and references. Some of the things we'll be discussing are pointers, references, pass by reference, smart pointers, declaring pointers, variable storage, dereferencing pointers, and validating pointers. A pointer is a variable that holds the memory address of another variable. It's a powerful feature of the language that has many uses in lower level programming. In this example, PTR is an integer type pointer that holds the address of myvar. The address is the physical memory address location that is storing the value. The address is generally represented as a hexadecimal number. The REF variable is a reference directly tied to myvar. Any changes made to REF or the dereference value of PTR will directly modify the value of myvar. The pointer PTR is virtually unchanged as the memory address itself hasn't changed. However, when dereferenced to access the pointer's value, that value will reflect the value currently assigned to myvar. Printing REF will also print the current value of myvar. In general, your pointers will mostly be used to hold U objects and classes so that you can access its methods and member variables within other classes. In C++, a reference is an alias or alternative name for an existing variable. It provides an alternate way to access the same memory location as the original variable. References are often declared using the ampersand symbol. As with our previous example, REF is a direct reference to the variable myvar. As such, any changes made to either of these variable changes the value of the other to reflect the change. To clarify, REF is a reference to myvar, but it is not a pointer. Therefore, you do not need to dereference the value in order to see its value. Asking REF to print will result in printing the value of myvar rather than the address location. Changing the value of REF will result in the changing of myvar to that value. Once initialized, a reference cannot be assigned to a different variable. References are often used in function parameters, providing a way to modify the original variable directly within the function. As you can see here, the function vision trace requires a reference to a variable type f hit result. Prior to calling the function, we create a local variable called hit result of the type f hit result, then pass that into the function. The function then takes the reference, accesses its variable supplied by the f hit result type, and then makes the necessary modifications to it. When the function is finished running, our local variable hit result now has the necessary information provided from the function so we can access the results and respond accordingly. Unlike pointers, references cannot be null pointer, and once initialized, they cannot be reassigned to refer to a different variable. Smart pointers were added in C++11 with Unreal providing its own custom implementation. Smart pointers are commonly used to manage memory and prevent memory leaks, similar to that of Unreal Engine's reflection and garbage collection system. However, using smart pointers in Unreal generally means you can't expose those variables to the reflection system, meaning you can't access them in blueprints like you can using uProperty. Getter functions will need to be created if you want to access smart pointers and blueprints. T-Shared Pointer is a smart pointer that provides shared ownership of dynamically allocated objects. Multiple T-Shared pointer instances can share ownership of the same object, and the object is automatically deallocated when the last shared pointer pointing to it goes out of scope. T-weak pointer is used in conjunction with T-shared pointer to break potential reference cycles. It allows you to create a weak reference to an object without increasing its reference count. It's often used to prevent circular dependencies and memory leaks. The T-weak pointer type is designed to provide a non-intrusive, non-owning, and thread-safe reference to a T-shared pointer. It does not prevent the underlying object from being deallocated. Instead, it allows you to check if the object it refers to still exists before attempting to access it. T-Unique Pointer is a unique pointer that represents sole ownership of an object. Unlike T-Shared Pointer, it cannot be shared among multiple pointers. It's useful when a single owner should be responsible for deallocating the memory. T-Weak Object Pointer is specifically designed for U-Object-derived classes in Unreal Engine. It allows you to create a weak reference to a U-Object without increasing its reference count. Similar to T-Weak Pointer, it's used to prevent circular dependency and memory leaks. In Unreal Engine, TSoft Class Pointer and TSoft Object Pointer are special types of smart pointers that are designed to handle references to U-Classes and U-Object instances. These pointers are used to create soft references to assets, allowing for more flexible and efficient loading and unloading of assets during runtime. Both TSoft Class Pointer and TSoft Object Pointer are part of the Unreal Engine Asset Management System. Soft references are soft in the sense that they don't hold a strong reference to the object they point to, allowing those soft objects to be unloaded from memory when not in use. When working with assets and 
managing memory in Unreal Engine, TSoft Class Pointer and TSoft Object Pointer provide a convenient way to handle references without immediately loading the assets into memory, offering more flexibility in managing your game's resources. TSoft Class Pointer is used for soft references to U-Class instances. U-Class represents the class of an object in Unreal Engine, and using TSoft Class Pointer allows you to refer to a class without directly loading it into memory. This can be useful for managing gameplay classes, blueprints, or other U-Class instances. TSoft Object Pointer is used for soft references to U-Object instances. This is commonly used for referenced assets such as textures, meshes, or other assets that are derived from U-Object. To declare a pointer, you use the asterisk symbol before the name of the variable. In this example, both of these variables are valid pointer declarations. Personally, I prefer to place my pointer declaration next to the type as shown in the myInt example. The reasoning for this is because the asterisk is also used to dereference a pointer, as you'll see in the next section. Putting the asterisk next to the type during declaration shows intent more clearly. In this example, you can get an idea of what is actually stored in a variable when it is declared. In the first line, x is an integer with a value of 42. Although it isn't a pointer, it still has a memory address that can be referenced. Variable ptr is a pointer that references the memory address of the variable x, denoted by the ampersand x. Declaring its value as a reference to variable x means that any changes made to ptr will physically change the value of variable x. Variable ptr val is a pointer that holds the value of variable x, which currently is 42. Changing the value of ptr val will not affect the value of x. In the last example, there's a pointer to an A class called character. As this variable is not defined, it simply stores a null pointer. Once defined, it stores a memory location of the instance character object that is loaded into the world. Dereferencing is a process of accessing the value stored at the memory location pointed to by a pointer. In programming, a pointer variable holds the memory address of another variable. Dereferencing that pointer means using the pointer to access the actual value stored at the memory location it points to. In this example, new x dereferences the pointer ref by using the asterisk and from the variable name to retrieve the value of the variable that REF references. Because both REF and PTR reference the same variable, when PTR changes the value of X, it also reflects REF and can be seen when dereferencing. That means that if this code ran sequentially, new X would have a value of 50. More often than not, while using Unreal, your pointers will reference U objects, so you can access the object's functions and variables. Here, we have a standard character object reference called character. To access a pointer's functions and variables, there are two operators you will use. One is the arrow operator, and the other is the dot operator. The dot operator is used when you have an actual object and not a pointer, and you need to access its members directly. In this example, B can never tick is a member accessible through the primary actor tick, which is a struct of A actor, which is what this is being called on. Because we have direct access to the object through inheritance, we use the dot operator to access its members and set them accordingly. The arrow operator is commonly used when you have a pointer to an object and you need to access its members. Behind the scenes, the arrow operator is dereferencing the pointer, then with the object in hand, it accesses its member functions and variables. What you see here are exactly the same. The second example is what the arrow operator is doing for you in the background. Lastly, I wanted to stress the importance of validating your pointers before using them. Attempting to use an invalid pointer will result in your code throwing errors and potentially crashing. The most common error people come across is the access none error. This is caused by not having a valid object reference in your pointer. Remember from earlier that when declaring the pointer character, it was left undefined at declaration. When we cast this reference, we are casting to an object, a character, that was loaded when the game started. Therefore, it has a valid object to attach to this variable. For other objects, you will need to create them before you use them. The ability to include the class allows you to access its members for coding purposes, but without the instance object, you will throw errors at runtime. By properly checking a pointer's validity, you can confidently access members without worry. If you don't clear the is valid check, you won't throw an error, but you will have a bug that you can sort through. If a bug occurs at this stage, then you don't have a valid instance of your object. I hope you guys found this quick video useful and that you now have a better understanding of pointers. If so, consider smashing that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing while you're down there liking it and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video drops. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below or consider joining the Discord channel to get personal assistance by me as well as the community. Again, thanks for watching and until the next one, peace.